let us begin so in this diagram you can see in the first one you can see all the solar energy falling on the reflecting surface whether it is a single parabolic surface or multiple mirror segments resembling a parabola in the diagrams a and b you can see in the figures a you can see a single parabolic surface the entire solar energy falling on the reflecting surface parabolic surface is concentrated on to the line that is the focus of that parabolic surface right in the second one the a number of mirror segments are arranged in such a way that the shape resembles a parabolic surface again there will be multiple reflection happening in this case and it will be concentrating onto a single line right in that line the absorber tube or the absorber carrying the heat transfer fluid will be placed diagram c shows the paraboloidal dish where the concentration is done onto a single point that is the same case with the last diagram figure d that is a central power receiver which we will discuss in detail in the coming slides where multiple mirror seg segments are placed on the ground known as heliostats which are obviously reflectors these are arranged such that the entire solar energy falling on the individual mirror segments are focused onto a very high point on the central tower where the absorber is placed you can see in the diagram this is understanding of the difference between the line and point concentrating type collectors this is a point concentrating type collector developed by sterling energy systems this is known as solar dish technology you can see this is not a single reflecting surface rather multiple mirror segments or glass elements are placed on the parabolic surface it is the world's most efficient device for the conversion of solar energy to grid delivered electricity this is the most efficient sterling energy based on sterling cycle so there will be a sterling engine on the point focus of that uh, dish type collector where the heat will be converted to electricity so nearly twice the efficiency of this one is nearly twice as that of the any alternative solar, solar technology so heat is thermal energy is converted to electricity using solar dish this is known as solar dish technology now another category of line concentrating type collector is linear fresnel reflector type linear fresnel it is pronounced as fresnel not fresnel it is fresnel reflector type so you can see here a number of mirror segments are arranged or oriented in such a way that the entire shape of the mirror looks like a parabola almost or we can see the mirror segments from one end to the center are placed so that the light energy falling on them will be or the thermal energy or the solar radiation falling on them will be correctly focused or concentrated on to the receiver or absorbed placed on the top on the central point you can see here right this is known as so all these segments the mirror segments are arranged by some circular rings on either ends please observe that these are linear 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 fresnel reflector fresnel lenses are employed here fresnel reflectors or lenses are employed for reflecting the solar light into a line this is a photograph of the same you can visualize that so central receiver is also shown here it differs from parabolic trough in that the absorber is fixed in space the absorber is fixed in space above the slightly curved or flat fresnel reflectors so the fresnel reflectors need not be always flat it can be curved also known as fresnel reflector or fresnel lens 
Sometimes a small parabolic mirror is added to the top of the receiver to further focus sunlight. So in the central receiver which is placed on the space above the frontal reflectors, sometimes a small parabolic mirror will also be added in order to intensify the solar energy. This is what we have seen in the very first slide using the heliostats. There will be a very tall tower at the center. On the top of the tower, we will be having the receiver which carries the heat transfer fluid. And number of mirror segments surrounding that central tower will be placed. That mirror, Those mirror segments are termed as heliostats. So solar energy falling on the heliostats will be reflected to the central receiver. The positioning of the heliostats are in such a way that it will be the entire solar energy falling on them will be concentrated onto the central receiver on top of the tower. So a field of mirrors are provided for directing the reflected sunlight to a central location. It can, these are the features, it can potentially operate at very high temperature of the capacities of 100 megawatts and above. The central receiver absorber can heat the working fluid on an intermediate fluid to a temperature as high as 1000 degrees Celsius. The temperature can reach even up to 1000 degrees Celsius which can be used to drive a Rankine or Brayton cycle according to the convenience of the location. Sometimes sunlight itself acts as the heat transfer medium. This is a photograph of a solar power tower you can see here. How many number of mirror segments are used here and the central tower? It is on a dis desert. A large space requirements, that is a ma major disadvantage. Wherever space availability is not a concern, as well as initial investment is not a concern, we can have this and we can generate megawatts of electricity using central power system. So these are the different types of solar thermal power plants from our discussion so far. Parabolic trough, the simplest one. Solar power tower system or the central receiver system. It is also known as power tower system. Please remember these names because sometimes the question might be asked using what is a solar power tower or a central receiver or using a heliostat. All are the same. Then solar dish or engine system using Stirling engine technology then compact linear frontal reflector. These are the various types of solar thermal power plants to generate electricity. Whenever you hear the name power plant, it is the combination of devices to convert some form of energy into the final form that is electricity. Power plant always means finally we will be generating some useful form of energy. Some useful form of energy. IC engine. In one sense, there is a power plant. We are converting the thermal energy into mechanical work. Even you can generate electricity from that. You heard about diesel generators, right? So, these are the various kinds of solar thermal power plants. Parabolic trough, solar power tower, solar dish and compact linear frontal reflector. So today we have seen the line focusing, the first one is line focusing, the second one power tower is point focusing, the third one is also point focusing, the fourth one compact linear frontal reflector is a line focusing. So there are two line focusing and two point focusing systems. So you should be in a position to list out which are the line focusing systems and which are the point focusing systems. Obviously you know that the point focusing systems will be having the higher energy output and higher intensity of solar energy focused on to a point. Since it is focused on to a point, the intensity of the solar energy in the receiver or absorber will be multiplied. So we will learn for today. We will meet in the next class.